What, what is it, sweetheart? Yeah, well, why can't I marry your mother? You know what? You can come this time, and I'll say I do instead of calling the cops. How do I know that? You even messed up this part. Well, your mother doesn't seem to be minding. You gave her the ring really mean. You didn't even do the neat thing. Who are you, Steven Spielberg? Don't you know anything about kissy stuff? Well, uh, <clears throat> I think she might have a point there. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know anything about kissy stuff. Then you can't marry mommy. And I think she means that. Okay, you, you, you're 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 grounded until you're like 52. Now get out of the way. <clears throat> Blair. Yeah. I love you and I want to get married, so what do you say? That stunk even worse. Do it again. Okay, Blair, I would consider it a personal honor if you would consider being the next Mrs. Todd Manning again. Todd. Said he yes. Look, Star, this is as good as it's going to get. That sounded so fakey. <laughs> All right. But this is the last time because my knees are killing me. All right. Um, Blair, nobody likes me. And when I'm not with you, I can really, I can see their point. But when I am with you, I don't really care what anybody thinks. And... Well, I'm willing to put up with you for as long as you'll put up with me. And that... That goes into forever or even longer. And if that's not love, then I don't know what is. I promise you that if you marry me, You'll never regret it. Okay, that's not true. I mean, you'll probably regret it just about every day of your life, but, but I promise you that I won't regret it. So what do you say? We got a deal? When I'm talking to you, will you marry me? Look, Star, come on. Somebody give me an answer. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, God. Oh, yes. 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 Mommy, let me see the ring. Let me see it. <laughs> There's like so many diamonds. It must have cost millions and billions and trillions of dollars. Star, it's not the money that counts. It's what the ring symbolizes that matters. Whatever. Mommy and Daddy are getting married. Plus, it's Halloween. <laughs> Okay, just for a minute. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> what? Trick or treat, Daddy? Vickers. Control on ABC. What do you want? It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where Blair's child is? Yeah, right here. I meant her other child. Knock it off, Vickers. What's going on? I... Just, uh, you know, a little trouble with the sun. No pun intended. Okay, you know what? I'll, uh, give me a minute, and I promise that I'll deal with you. Absolutely. You know, they, they really screwed up down at the paper. I gotta take care of this. You guys go ahead and start your Katrina. I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Okay? 
this nun outfit mm -hmm. isn't as good as the angel outfit last year. But I figured if I wear this, then people will think that they'll have to give me candy or else they'll go to... Uh, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's sing. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. What are you trying to pull? Nothing. I just thought you might want to know where the kid is. I don't care where the kid is. As long as the kid's not here, I don't give a damn where the kid is. So you just want him to disappear? Uh-huh. If you ever call me again, I'll make you disappear. Go away! Oh, that's right. Halloween. You know, I don't get it one night a year. You try and scare people? Call that amateur night. Okay, I don't get it. Who are you supposed to be, Danny Alamante? Come on, can't you tell who I am? Oh! <laughs> Hello? Trick or treat! What took you so long? Oh my goodness, you're absolutely adorable. The sweet little nun, are we out doing our devotionals? Yeah, right. <laughs> You know, you're trick-or-treating mighty late. Is it safe out there? I'm not going to hurt anybody today. Plus, Halloween puts me in a good mood. And my nanny is out in the car. So, give me candy. No yucky stuff, no apples, and no pennies. And nothing that's good for you. Oh, candy. Gosh, Halloween, I forgot. I don't think I have any candy. See ya. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Wait, I, I do have a treat for you. I do, I really do. You could come inside this beautiful grand house and keep me company for a bit. How do you feel about that? It sounds creepy, but I gotta go to the other houses before they run out of candy. Oh, but we would have so much fun. We? Is Asa here? He gives me great treats, plus he gives me a lot of money. No, I'm sorry, Asa's not here. Oh. But you know, I, I just remembered, I do have great treats. I have, in fact, the best treats you'll find all evening. I promise you. Why don't you come inside and I'll just be a moment. I'll get them. Come on in. A ball and a glove there, but that doesn't make you a baseball player. So? You got a daughter, but that doesn't make you a father. Ah, okay, I get it. Uh, for Halloween, you're gonna be a wise guy. That, that, that's good. So, you know Star? Yeah. She never mentioned you. She doesn't know me. Uh-huh. But you know her? I get it. You know everything about her, but she doesn't even know you exist. In a way. Now, we'll get used to it. It's all downhill from here. You're a scar, huh? Like me? What'd you expect? Not that. What, do you do makeup before you come to every house? Looks real. It is real. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some candy. But next year, you got to remember that if you come to this house, you have to have a really good costume. It's like a house rule. I'm a ghost.